Yep. That's okay. So I'm just going to give you a wee overview of what I got up to when I was in South Africa, and then Andy's going to come and tell you a bit more about the Sports Academy. And um, I just want to apologise to the youth who've heard this all before. Um, but yeah, Richard, if you hit the next slide. Uh, so that's the team, um, apart from Bethan, because she was taking the photo. Um, but there's our leaders, Craig and Christina, and then uh, Beth and I, Beth and Emma. Um, uh, so it was a long journey to get there, but we finally got there in one piece. Um, and while we were out, there was another Exodus team there as well. Um, and they'd arrived the week before, um, and then we overlapped for a week. So they were able to tell us all about the experience that they'd had before us. Um, and the plan for every day was that we'd go to the primary schools in the mornings to teach uh, PE classes and then we'd go over to the sports academy in the afternoon and coach football and netball. Um, but unfortunately on our first day we couldn't do this as the taxi drivers had started rioting in the townships um, so it wasn't safe to go in. So instead we went to Options um, which was a crisis pregnancy clinic um, where women who were considering having abortions uh, could come and they'd get counselling and medical support um, and they also helped men and women who were suffering with HIV um, and for women that were struggling with financial difficulties um, they were able to make jewellery and cards um, which were then sold and they'd get all the profits um, so it was just amazing to see all the work that they were doing there and able to pray with the staff um, if you want to hit the next go again Richard um, so the next day the riots were still going on, um, so we went to Bethesda Hospice um, and first we went and we played with the kids in the nursery um, and these kids had different illnesses like fetal alcohol syndrome and things um, but they just loved playing with us for a while and um, they just really liked to be picked up. You hit the next one Richard. Um, and then we went over to the hospice um, where we had a chance to pray with those who were ill. Um, and I went round with Ruby and Claire from the other team and they'd already done this the week before. Um, so they were able to tell me a few stories. Um, they prayed for a woman um, the week before um, who'd been possessed by demons. Um, and we went and saw her again and she was, they said she's a lot better but she wasn't um, quite well yet. And then Mikey from the other team as well, he'd prayed for a man. Um, he was hardly able to stand the week before um, and he could only walk across the room with the nurse supporting him. But then when we went back, um, he was able to stand and walk across the room. Um, go again, Richard. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, so after lunch, we went over to the kids clubs in one of the townships um, and they were showing us some of their worship and um, if you couldn't make that out they were saying Jesus loves us um, and we did a story with them and then we played some games and they just really like to touch white people's hair. <laughs> Yeah, and then we finally got into the primary schools when the riots had finished. Um, the first one we went to was Tihalora. Um, So some mornings we were able to do assemblies um, and then we took PE classes um, and we'd teach them a memory verse and then play some games and the PE classes were about half an hour and then we did about um, six of those every morning. Um, yep, the next slide. Go again Richard. Um, and at break time all the kids would come out and um, we'd get attacked but they ate some really weird things as well. Um, like baby squid or some of them would walk around with a whole fish in their hand or that's a chicken foot there that Olivia's about to eat. Um, go again Richard. Um, so we finally made it to the sports academy um, when the rioting had stopped and 
Um, the Sports Academy is not a place, it's just an organisation, um, but we meet at the university where we use the football pitch and the netball courts. Um, so the girls would coach the netball and then the boys would do the football. Um, so in the top right corner, that's Kaiser and Jadine, um, and they both uh, came up through the Sports Academy and now they're coaching there and Justin as well. And just meeting some of the Sports Academy staff was definitely one of my highlights. Um, just hearing some of the things that they'd been through, but seeing um, how much they love God, it was just really inspiring. Um, Gloria. Um, so this is some of the boys um, who played in the football team, um, and all the guys were really great to work with, but hearing some of their stories was tough as well, um, realising like, how much we take for granted. Um, one of the girls couldn't make it to netball practice one day because she had to do her homework, because um, if she didn't do it then, it would be dark and she wouldn't be able to do it when she got home. Um, and many of the boys would be in gangs and things. Um, I remember just hearing that and just accepting it at the time, but then seeing them with their stab wounds and things was um, a bit terrifying. Um, then next slide. Um, so the youth club was really good as well. Um, we were able to play games with the guys and um, we did a wee talk. Um, yeah, Richard. Um, so this was the other primary school we went to, it was Timbaletu, and this is one of their choirs. Thing. Um, so one of my favourite days um, was one day it rained and we weren't able to go to the primary schools um, because if the kids got wet then they wouldn't, probably wouldn't get dried and they might get sick. Um, so Andy decided that we'd make a big pot of soup and then we'd drive around in the buggy which was like a pickup um, and hand out the soup to the homeless people and pray for them. Um. Um, and another day it rained um, we did a treasure hunt in the mall. Um, we just uh, asked God to show us someone who he wanted us to pray for. And then we'd go in and find them and pray for them. And for me, this was a really weird experience. Um, I was pushed out of my comfort zone a lot. Um, but it was a really good experience. And we got some weird stories out of it about corn and different things. Um, so, yeah, next slide. Um, and we went to watch one of the girls' netball matches one night as well. Um, and they play at a really high standard, so that was uh, amazing to see. Um, and then another night we went to a Casa church in one of the townships, um, and it was definitely one of the most scariest experiences for me. Um, I really wanted to leave, but um, they were singing in tongues for about half an hour, and then um, the pastor spoke, but that was, um, it was really amazing. Um, here's a wee bit of the singing, just. So I really enjoyed seeing just how they worship um, and how free they were in their worship. Um, and then one other night, um, we held a leadership group for the older kids in the sports academy um, where we did uh, Bible study and prayer and things. Um, so that's all from me. Um, but I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank you all for the support and prayers that you've given me, um, especially the night of the fundraiser. Um, I really couldn't have done it without all your support. So thank you.